Okay, in this video I'm going to be showing you some features of a program I wrote uh, that is available free and open source for anyone who would like to download and use it. Uh, and like I said, in this video I'm going to show you how it works and then I'm going to have a few follow-up videos showing not only how to install it but also how, to, how it all works and so if you want to make modifications for it. So this video is more for people who are interested in seeing how it works where the other videos are going to be more for uh, you know, the IT guys who will need to install and tweak it. And what it is, it's an overtime call list. Now where I work, I work for a fire department and um, there's a list that they call for overtime and they, they keep track of who's been called and when you've been called and when you've gotten overtime you get moved to the bottom of the list. Different departments do th things different ways. You may get moved to the bottom of the list, you may get moved down a certain number of spots on the list when you get called. Of course this can all be tweaked but by default it's going to move you to the bottom of the list. So here's an example. I threw in some uh, names here and some fake phone numbers, some fake names. And this is the view, and all three of these views I'm going to show you today look similar, but I'm going to show you the differences. This is the view that your captain or your battalion chief or whoever's in charge of calling overtime looks at. And they can see who's at the top of the list. So right now John Smith is at the top of the list. When I click John Smith, he gets moved to the bottom of the list. So I can say, okay, this is what next guy, I'm going to call him, click him, he moves to the bottom of the list. And so forth and so on. So this is the view, and there is actually another functionality that I'll show you here in a moment, uh, but that is the base feature here. Now there's another view uh, that looks very similar. Let me move that one down. And it's not this one, but it's this one. Okay. So we have two views here that look rather same. You notice this one at the top says overtime call list, and this one says live view overtime call list. And the difference is this one, you can't click, you can't move around, you can highlight, see what name you're on. This one is for viewing only. So this first window over here on the left is, again, for whoever's calling the overtime, the battalion chiefs, the captains, whoever. The view on the right is for everybody else. And this is so you can see real time where you are on the list. So now I'm, I'm viewing this in the same computer, but imagine that this view on the left is, you know, like I said, the, the battalion chief's computer. And the view on the right is your cell phone, your tablet, your laptop. You're at home. You're on vacation in another state or another country, but you have internet access. You can view this here. And watch, as I click over here and move the names down, you notice this list updates. It updates every three seconds. So you're always within three seconds of seeing a live view. So I can click on a bunch of names here, and you can see that it will update. And so you can be sitting at home or on your way back from vacation. You may have looked at the calendar for tomorrow and you know overtime's coming up, but you don't know when the call's gonna come in. So you can bring this up and you can start seeing the names coming through. So let's say you're John Smith, you're like, oh, I'm five down on the list. Oh, now I'm four down on the list. And you can get ready so you're sure you're by your phone if you wanna accept that overtime so you don't miss the call. So that's what the live view is for. And again, anywhere you in the world that you have internet access to, that you can access the service Server. You don't need to install anything. You just open up your web browser, you know, type in your username and password, and you'll be able to access it, view it real time, well, within three seconds of being real time. So that's the second view here. And I'll give again a, a demonstration of all this again on actual devices uh, here in a moment. There's a third screen though, this screen right here, which looks the same, but the list is a lot longer and there's a bit more information there. Now, uh, what this is, this is the ongoing log. So let's say again that you're John Smith. You can come up here to the filter and you can type in your name. I'll type in Smith and see here, okay, John Smith. And you can see when you were called. You can see John Smith was called at this phone number for this rank because there's different overtime positions. So you can filter this out by rank. You were called for this position on this day, this time. So let's say you're just curious for whatever reason, maybe you want to see how many times I've been called for over time, or why was I not called? You can see who else was called and how often they were called. Um, you can also, you know, see exactly when. So you like, you can be like, oh, I didn't get a call. Oh, you know, I'm again, John Smith. 
oh, they have my old phone number. I forgot to have them update my phone number. That's why I didn't get the call. Or it could be the right number. And you're like, well, I don't, I didn't know that my phone got rang, you know, my phone rang. So you can go, okay, it says that it was called on, on the 8th, you know, at this time. So you can bring up your phone and go through your call log and see if you have a missed call from that time. And if not, you know, now you can be like, you know, you guys didn't call me. My phone didn't ring. I don't know why, you know, you know, a little bit more of what's going on. So this would be an ongoing list, you know, of everyone who's been called, when they've been called, for what position, and at what phone number. So now I showed you all here on the screen, and I'm going to show you it again, and the uh, extra functionality that I didn't show of the first screen for the people making the calls. Okay, here's a quick look. I know you can't see it from here, but we'll get a close up here in a second. I just wanted to show you. So we have the same call list. Again, this is the view for whoever's making the overtime calls. Again, a captain, a BC, or whoever you have assigned to do overtime calls. So the same list, and just like on the computer, you can click the name and it goes to the bottom of the list. And again, I know you can't see this right now, but instead of clicking, if you swipe the name, it pops up a box with their number, you click the phone number, it brings up your dialer app, and you can click call, and it will call them. That will alleviate, alleviate any problems of accidentally dialing the wrong number. Or it'll also make the calls faster because you don't have to sit there and type in each number. So again, it's the same interface and you can still make the names go to the bottom of the list by clicking them, but you can swipe them and it brings up the phone number, click, click call, and you'll be calling them. And when you swipe, it does move them to the bottom of the list as well. Uh, and again, moving to the bottom of the list is how my department works currently. You can modify it to move them however far down the list you need to move them. Um, but I just thought I'd show that little functionality. Now let's get a little close-up view of this with the computer screen next to each other to show the two interacting with each other. So again, here is a view. Uh, we got the call list over here and the live view on the computer screen behind me. And again, I can click to move a name to the bottom of the list and you can see it automatically updates within three seconds on the other screen. And you can have everyone in your department connected to this at the same time. So everyone can be viewing it if they want to. And again, if I swipe, I can then click the phone number and click call and I can call that person that easily uh, without having to dial the number and worry about bad numbers being dialed. So uh, that's that and of course it works the other way around as well. Okay, how do I hold this now? So now I have the live view on the phone and I have the call list on the computer. So as you can see, not only can you view it on a computer, if I click over here and move people to the bottom of the list, hopefully you can be seeing that it's updating the, the list on the phone as well. So again, you can be anywhere in the world as long as you have an internet connection and you can be viewing this list. Now, of course, if you're in another country, you're probably not going to be taking over time, but you can be coming back from vacation or just sitting at home wondering, where am I on the list? And when am I going to get called? And you can be prepared so you don't miss that call. You're not sitting around all day waiting for it because you can kind of see what's going on. So once again, this is free and open source software. It's up on GitHub. There'll be a link in the description to where you can download the full code. I'll have more videos on the technical aspect of this to show you how to quickly install it and get it up and running as well as make, uh, you can look over the code and see how you can tweak it because I know every department and has their own little way of doing things and you want to be able to customize this stuff and that's why it's important to have that ability to have the source code to modify. So I'll have follow-up videos, there should be annotations on the screen that hopefully bring you to them uh, to show you the more technical aspect of it. But again, once you install this on your servers, uh, pretty much anybody with a tablet, phone, computer, basically anything with an internet access and a modern browser should be able to use this software. It's all logged and the data is all there, you know, to make it easy for people to see what's going on in real time and um, help solve problems, hopefully. So again, the link to the code is in the description. My website is filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link to that in the description as well. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and as always, I hope that you have a great day.